this is a little video for anybody who's recently followed me and my journey in setting up a mother cuppa i thought i'd tell you a little bit about me who i am how i got here what the hell am i doing on tiktok <laughs> um so my name is candace and um yeah founder to mother cuppa i am wife to james of 19 years and mother to my daughter Lillian who's just turned 18 and I have had endometriosis for most of my life particularly bad in my teenage years and in my late teens early 20s I underwent some quite significant operations and um, had quite a lot of treatment going on and one of the treatments that I went through as a result of that was a forced, a medically forced, induced, whatever you want to call it, menopause. So I kind of feel like I've already been through it. Now, my endometriosis did get better. I did also fall pregnant with my daughter not long after my treatment, which was a real miracle, so that was great. But what I found was that I was always being given medication for my symptoms, and I really just didn't want that in my body. I felt that there were more side effects to some of the medications that I was taking than it was healing and helping me and I was really keen to be as natural as I could. I was conscientious about the food I was putting in my body um, so I wanted to be careful about other things that were going in my body and just be really conscious and really try and listen and tune into my body to find out exactly what worked for me and that is how I ended up blending herbal teas. So I would play around with certain ingredients, I would look up things that might help hormone levels, that might help mood swings, that might help period cramps, that might help headaches, and I would just play with bits and pieces at home and try and get those working for me. And basically it's just been something that I've done at home for years and just played around with things. Now, um, my husband and I run a business that was massively impacted during the pandemic and I felt so stressed so stressed. Um, I didn't sleep. Um, there, was a, there was a lot going on, as there were for lots and lots of other people, but I really found it myself hard. And I spoke to my GP about it, who said, as a result of the treatment you've gone through, it's very likely that you're going through early menopause. And we talked through all of my symptoms and he suggested that that probably was what was happening. So that's, again, I went straight back to all my herbs and thought, right, okay, we're going to have to start back at the beginning. I'm just going to have to work this out, being, sleep being my biggest issue at that particular point. Um, and so that's when I made my Relax Blend, which you'll find in my teas. And there's kind of a story behind each blend and how I've kind of really honed in and focused on that and really researched each of the, of the teas and the ingredients that went into it. And it was friends saying to me, you know, you really ought to do something with this. But let me tell you, this little thing called imposter syndrome gets worse when you're hormonal. <laughs> and I kept thinking, I can't do this. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't have any qualifications. It's not something I've treated people for for any length of time. I've only just done it myself. And so I stopped and really just felt like I couldn't do it. Anyway, I went off, got my T sommelier qualification, did some online learning, made it feel that if I had a qualification behind my belt, I would be able to actively start a business and share that with people. And therein lies the background story of Mother Cuppa. So for those of you who've just joined, and I'm sorry I'm rambling, it's like four minutes long, um, and you've recently followed my page, that's a little bit about me. I'm really open to chat and I've loved TikTok, loved um, meeting other ladies that are like me who are trying to start businesses or who want to be in with the, the latest trend, i.e. TikTok. Um, and I, do, I just, I love that I can be myself over here. I really enjoy that part of the platform. You don't get that on every platform. And yeah, I'm open for having conversations with people and ladies. I would just really love to help other people who maybe got some similar symptoms to me or who maybe are struggling and who may be thinking about a natural. Um, journey for their menopause so yeah hit me up take care